Looking for a new holiday movie to watch this season? The Shepherd is a timeless classic that follows the story of a young pilot flying home on Christmas Eve when his power cuts out. I got the chance to speak with the writer and director of the film, Ian Softley. Take a look. Ian Softley, so great to have you here with us. I'm wondering, what was it about the novel, The Shepherd, that drew you to this project? Well, it's a beautiful Christmas story, um, and it works on so many levels, and it's a uh, it's a little gem, but beautifully, beautifully told story that I thought, well, this is a gift for a, a filmmaker because it, you know, it's very dramatic and it has beautiful visuals that, uh, that I, I, I wanted to use. And because I wanted to um, convey the story, not through much through dialogue, but through the performance of the actors, as a, you know, the, the music is, is, is a really big uh, element of it. But it was really the story that, 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 that struck me that it starts out really as a, a story about somebody wanting to come home, uh, the young pilot, the last plane flying on Christmas Eve, snow covered air uh, landscape with under the full moon. It seems idyllic. Mm -hmm. And then the dream becomes a nightmare when he loses all his instruments over the North Sea. Mm. And I know that you have made a myriad of incredible films as a writer and a producer and a director. How do you go about creating such immersive films like you do? Well, those are the films that I'm drawn to. I actually, when I read a script or a book, um, I, I need to see it. I need to mm. see the world and to feel that I'm excited to create that world. And th that's a world for the audience to be able to escape into and for the actors to do their best work. Um, th I, and I work with people that I worked with before. I mean, John Matheson, the cinematographer, um, he's, he did Gladiator amongst other things. Um, and I, uh, I, I really focused on all of the elements that, that uh, would, would, would encapsulate the performances, which are at the center of it, really. It's a script, it's a story in the performances that really drive me. And then I'm inspired to sort of, you know, make, to, to make a, a, a film out of them. Yeah, and you do that so well. And speaking of actors, John Travolta was part of this film. He plays the Good Samaritan, as well as being an executive producer on the film. Had you ever worked with him? And, and how was your experience? I haven't worked with him before, but, but uh, John has a long history with the story. He optioned the book 30 years ago when he wanted to play the young pilot. And it was actually his agent that alerted us to the existence of, the, of the, the book and the fact that John was very keen on it being made and would work as a producer. And it was really just in the process. I met him a few times and we exchanged, we had phone calls. I met him in person um, in the UK, in, in the US. And it just became clear, I think we both came up, you know, we both kind of dawned on the idea that, that he would be perfect to play, play the title role. And he's, you know, he's such an av aviation fan, mm -hmm. huge fan of the story that I think everybody will, will see him really um, give the most incredible performance. Yeah, and in his element in the air, in the plane, like you said, did you have a favorite scene to direct? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I, I, uh, I think that the, the, in terms of directing, with the, 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 the challenge rather than the favorite scene, the, the, the great thing was such a short film, there's a lot of variety uh, and the different challenges. Being with the pilot in the plane, creating that claustrophobia, that kind of range of emotions was, was, a, was a very sort of challenging, methodical. We had to use a real plane for flying sequences. We created a replica plane. I think that the, um, there are certain elements of the, uh, uh, of the story and the way that you know I wanted to film it, which are a little bit like a kind of a, um, an atmospheric um, mystery, um, and I think that was quite exciting um, to create a world, you know, with the fog and the mist and the snow, yeah. and, uh, and the incredible skyscapes, and to see the actors really. Um, become so kind of, it, it, I think that if you're in a world like that, the actors' performances go to another level as well. Mm -hmm. Ian, thank you so much for being here and sharing with us today. I know The Shepherd comes out around Christmas time. We can't wait to see it. We hope everybody gets out there and sees it. Thank you. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you. So mark your calendars. The Shepherd will be available for streaming on Disney Plus on December 1st.